Hey guys, this is Tamara Cinnamon with TheInfiniteDegree.com and today I want to talk about recharging your life, right? When you recharge your life, you move closer to who you actually are. When you feel great, you actually notice the nudge that pushes you towards that path of least resistance in your entire life, right? If you're on this hamster wheel and you're feeling exhausted all the time, you're feeling like you're doing things that you hate, that you're, you know, just saying yes to everybody else, you're so far away from your inner calling. But the good news, your inner calling is not going to stop calling you. It's over and over. It's this nudge. It's a gentle nudge here. It's a wink there. And the closer you get to that, the closer you get to, again, that path of least resistance, but just stepping onto your path, feeling absolutely incredible, and more of that comes, and more of that comes. And so I always hear from people, Tamara, that sounds great. How do I get started on that? Well, today I want to talk about recharging yourself, okay? So cell phone charger. Many people don't even leave the house without their cell phone charger. Their phone is charged all the time because, you know, heaven forbid that your phone actually dies, right? But recharging yourself needs to be a practice that not only do you do every day, but here's the key. You need to do it in a way that's authentic for you because not everybody recharges the same way. And so really good, um, <clears throat> pardon me, exercise for you is just to sit down and figure out how do I like to be recharged myself, who I am, how do I need to be recharged so that when I've done that, I actually feel great and I'm excited about moving on. I'm excited about listening to that and that inner calling okay so give you a few ideas some people love to have quiet time that's how they need to recharge and so a bath and going all out and having candles and you know that kind of thing really works for them other people either think oh my god I got a million other things that I would like to be doing okay so again taking note uh, do you enjoy being outside to be recharged do you need to go on a big holiday some people love going on and they know every few months they have to have a holiday book because that's recharging for them and they need that. But other people say, I don't even actually really enjoy that. People say that I should do it, but I don't enjoy that. So do you like books? Do you like to go for a walk? Do you need those holidays? Do you need, you know, time out, happy hour time to go out and have a beer? Um, what are the specific things that you need? And so number one, sit down and actually say, you know, what are the, the activities that I enjoy on an hourly basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, on the big goal list basis? What are those things that actually, when I finish them, they recharge me up and I'm at a place to say, come on world, I'm ready, okay? And what are those things that maybe you're doing saying that that's recharging you? But they're not. They're just things that other people say that they recharge you, okay? So again, maybe you don't like to read. That's okay. <laughs> um, but doing it because you're told that that recharges you is absolutely nuts, okay? So is it that? Do you like to walk your dog? Do you like to be social? Do you like to be totally introverted? Uh, do you prefer to do it on a daily basis? Do you need to set times? Or do you just need to know that you do them? Okay, so figure out what are the things that you love and then make kind of that bucket list of items. Start right now. What are all those things that you'd like to do? Is there local things that you haven't seen? Is there friends that you'd like to see? What are those things you'd like to do that you know would recharge you so that when you have time, bam, you go to your list and say, that's the one I'm doing today. Okay, and so really important to know when you're looking for your calling that you are totally different than anybody else. Inside you is a calling that is all yours, gifts that are all yours, but recharging has to be all yours as well. So not only does it need to be priority, does it need to be top of the list, it also has to be done in a way that you absolutely love. Because otherwise you do these activities, you have time and you don't feel like you did. You don't feel like you have time to yourself. You don't feel like you got recharged even though you had the time. And so I encourage you, are you recharging yourself the same way you were recharging your cell phone? Really, really huge. You would never not recharge your cell phone. You get to that point where you never don't recharge yourself. So have fun with it. Make sure it's authentic to you and go out and have an absolutely incredible day.